Welcome to Hacking Teacher. So in this video, we'll start covering a topic named as email spoofing. According to me, it's also a finest attacks possible over the emails. So first of all, we have to understand what is a term named as spoofing. Spoofing is a term which we always use to refer where a hacker pretend to be somebody else. Like spoofing can be with any way, like it could be a call spoofing, it could be a email spoofing, it could be a IP spoofing, it could be a Mac spoofing. So the point is that you're pretending to be somebody else, but you are not. You're exactly not. So what we'll be doing in the email spoofing is, we'll be sending an email to a victim with somebody else identity. Suppose if I email you with the email address of billgates at the rate microsoft.com and I'll be giving you a job offer. You'll be amazed. You'll think that, oh wow, that you're now capable and Bill Gates himself is approaching you for the job and you'll be very happy. Right? But actually it will, the email will not be from the Bill Gates. The sender is me. And I'm not using the Bill Gates email ID, I'm just using his identity. So you can use any identity in the world you like, like Obama at the rate US.com, president at the rate country.com or any identity you want to use, you can. So we are not actually hacking somebody's email ID or we are not actually sending from the Bill Gates email ID. We're just changing our own ID to be Bill Gates. Simple. So let's start with the practical. So we'll go to a browser and there is a website which offers us the free service to do the email spoofing. EMKEI.cz I'll also be showing you in the future videos how to perform the call spoofing that how you can call anyone with any number you like. So the website is open. So here we can type an email ID from which name you want to receive the email like Bill Gates from email to any email ID so I have a email ID just for registration purposes Right, so we can send an email. The only drawback of email sending is, the email spoofing is, that if you send it to a Gmail ID, like this, it could go to spam. But if you send anybody on Yahoo, it will surely go to in the inbox. According to me, Yahoo is the most vulnerable vendor or email service provider. Gmail is secure. And even if you send to some corporate email IDs who just use Outlook, they do not have any their own email filtering solution. Suppose the person at the rate Amazon.com, the person at the rate eBay.com or anybody who is having their own company, it would also go into their inbox like any corporate email IDs who are not using Gmail, they're just using their Outlook to receive the emails or their own solution to receive emails. So there will not be any filtration. So it would also deliver in their inbox. So we can send. 
email sent successfully so let's open the gmail id so as you can see i have opened the gmail it could go to your inbox as well and it could go to your spam as well but in the yahoo it will surely go to your inbox so here we can see that we are receiving an email from bill at the rate microsoft.com the same email and it's very easiest way to make someone fool so email spoofing is not related to any type of password attacks you cannot gain somebody's email password or we cannot gain any email control through email spoofing it's just a technique or a way to make someone fool that's it so in the next video i'll also show you how to track a email that this is a real email came from the real sender or from a fake sender and from which country or ip address is came to you so i hope you like this video and thank you for watching